Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and today we're taking a look at the Garmin Forerunner 245 Music. So this is the Garmin Forerunner 245 Music, and at the time of this review, it is retailing online for about $350. Purchase link in the description below. Now at a first glance, it doesn't appear that it's a whole lot different than the 235, but under the hood, they've updated a lot of the hardware, including a better GPS chip that uses less energy, so therefore the watch can run longer. It also has an updated optical heart rate sensor. Garmin has added the pulse oximeter measuring technology on this watch. They've also added all day stress tracking and the body battery functionality that we've seen on some of their newer watches. The watch itself has a seven day battery life. It does not have a barometric altimeter similar to some of the more expensive Garmin watches like the Garmin Phoenix series watches or the Forerunner 645. But what the 245 offers is an affordable package where you can have a smartwatch that has onboard music for streaming to Bluetooth headphones as well as some great smart features and it can track virtually any exercise that you throw at it. Now it does not have a touch screen and that's very intentional on Garmin's part. A lot of the feedback that they get is that runners and swimmers and cyclers don't like to have to fidget with a touch screen. They would much prefer buttons. But you do have access to Garmin's Connect IQ where you can download a lot of different apps for this watch in addition to more watch faces. And this does have a backlit display that works wonderfully well even in pitch black darkness. Now typical to our videos, we don't want to take you through a list of specs and features. You can do that on your own by going to the Garmin website. We want to take this out and get this dirty with lots of different exercise to show you how it performs in different scenarios. So the first thing I did was take this with me in into the gym to do lots of different lifting, CrossFit, boot camp style exercises to see how this would hold up under the stress of those kinds of exercises. Now it should be noted that built-in optical heart rate sensors on the wrist are not known for doing well in a gym-based setting. Now based on my experience, the Apple Watch Series 4 has tended to have the best optical heart rate sensor for gym-based exercise, followed up by the Fitbit Versa. Whereas Garmin's Elevate sensor sensors have tended to be calibrated more towards cardio-based exercise and less towards lifting and gym-based exercise. So I was expecting subpar results, but I was actually very surprised to see that the optical heart rate sensor was agreeing spot on with my Apple Watch. Now I will say in about a 40 minute timeline, I did experience about four or five dropouts from the 245, whereas the Apple Watch was a little bit more consistent. That being said, I was pretty impressed. Now obviously, one of the great features about the 245 is that it also pairs with an external heart rate sensor. So I did go ahead and do that. It did connect to an external heart rate sensor and I got great data. I mean, spot on perfect data from a heart rate sensor, even during gym based exercise. So based on my experience in the gym, Garmin has finally gotten their optical heart rate sensor right in terms of using it for gym based exercise. And this is a watch that I would recommend for gym based use. Now I will say that their gym profile that's built in on the watch sucks and it tries to do automatic tracking and I don't recommend it. You'll have to create a custom profile for gym based workouts. That being said, we finally got an optical heart rate sensor from Garmin that works in the gym. Now I won't spend too much on the swimming portion, but suffice to say that Garmin has the industry standard in terms of swim tracking. You're going to get every metric you could possibly want for swim tracking from the Garmin 245. So you're going to get your average pace. You're going to get your pace per lap. You're going to get your fastest lap time, your slowest lap time. You're going to get your strokes per minute, your strokes per lap. You're going to get a lot of metrics, even a Swolf score from Garmin. And so really, if you're looking to do tracking uh, of your swim metrics, this is a watch that we can highly recommend in addition to a lot of the other Garmin Forerunner watches, which also track swimming. 
Now for the cardio portion of our review, Don took care of all of this for us because I suck at cardio. On one run, Don did experience kind of a weird GPS oddity. It did not seem to affect the actual mileage. So his GPS mileage did agree spot on with the Vivo Active 3 music, which he had on his other wrist. One of the other interesting things that we found is that the battery life on the Forerunner 245 was far less impacted by using streaming Bluetooth music and GPS at the same time compared to a watch like the Vivo Active 3 music, which would absolutely just get tapped out in terms of battery life when using both GPS and music streaming. So it seems like Garmin has really done a good job updating all of the hardware in a way in which it consumes less battery power. So you're going to get closer to seven days worth of battery life, even if you're consistently using the watch for GPS or for listening to music, you're going to get far closer to it than maybe previous generations of this watch, which would tap out the battery much quicker when you're using those features. Garmin continues to impress with the metrics that they give you on the Garmin Forerunner 245 music. You even get elevation, even though this doesn't have a barometric altimeter, it uses GPS location to help determine altitude. So everything on the watch appeared to be tracking spot on, including GPS. GPS, the heart rate information, uh, cadence information, altitude information, pace, all of it was on point. You've got a ton of metrics that you can sort through as a runner. So it's definitely a watch that we would recommend for those of you who are into triathlon sports, running sports, cardio based sports. This is a watch that we can highly recommend. Now, one of the other great things about tracking your workouts is that you can see not only what you've done, but you can see how it's impacted your body. So the body Body battery feature from Garmin uh, is great. You can see how your energy levels have been impacted by a recent exercise or jog or whatever it is you've been doing. But your body battery will also go up if you've been sleeping or if you've been sedentary for a while. It will let you know that your body battery is increasing or getting full and you can go out and you can uh, do more exercise. This also has VO2 max estimates. Uh, it has a lot of proprietary stuff that Garmin has including their sleep tracking uh, technology. I mean, really, this is a great watch if you're just wanting to kind of keep tabs on what your body is doing and how it's responding to the exercise uh, that you're putting it through. So really, the Garmin Forerunner 245 is a do-it-all watch, something that you can wear on your wrist as a daily wearable that gives you some smart features, some music streaming, uh, a lot of other uh, features like mobile payments, uh, access to the Connect IQ app store from Garmin, and something that will do a hell of a job tracking just about anything that you can throw at it, whether that be in the gym or out on the pavement or on the side of a mountain. Really, this watch just has a lot that it offers. For a $350 price point, yes, that's a little bit of a premium price, but you're getting a lot. So check out the purchase link in the description below. And hey guys, thanks for watching. My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. We'll catch you next time.